art psychology and why does it matter? Well, art psychology is the relationship between one person's mind and the art that they're experiencing. Art can be anything. Let's get that clear. Art can literally be the posters or the graphics you see at the grocery store, okay? Art can be the architecture you see while walking to school. Art can be the furniture your parents decided to furnish your house with. I feel like when we think of art, our views are very limited and restricted. Art is in our lives on a daily basis and we will never be able to escape it. Art is something that it is crucial for our culture, our society, and for our communication. Now because art is such a strong form of communication, because one painting can say a thousand words or one song bringing up a whole bunch of emotion making one person express themselves in a different way than they did three minutes before the song started. I think there would be no creativity without art in society. Um, not everybody <clears throat> is an artist, but that doesn't mean that they're, they don't use art in, in their everyday lives. It could be the smallest of things, it could just be a simple drawing, it could be like a simple sketch a design a shape whatever that is considered art in my opinion and without art and colors and just perception of that we would we wouldn't really wouldn't have life in the world um as a society without art i feel like we'd be <laughs> nowhere because well firstly if you look at like historical events and stuff like the renaissance era for example that was purely art like that was creativity um and i think creativity is art in itself. So as a society, if we're like not creative, if we're not artistic with our ideas and like stuff like that, then we'd be nowhere, honestly. When I think of art psychology, I think uh, like a lot of paintings that um, have deeper meanings. Like, um, I don't know. It really depends because there's really art in anything. When I think of art psychology, um, comes to my mind is when you see art is um, some certain pieces of art makes you think feel a different like a certain type of way so if you see like a bright colorful piece it makes you feel like happy usually it makes you feel happy uh, and more like 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 brighter anyway, but if you see like a like a darker piece of art with like less color it's more like gray colorway it makes you start, like mostly feel sad, and yeah. Art is very um, contra. Uh, what do you call this? Contradicting. Contrasting. Yeah, it's very oh. weird. Yeah, it's very confusing, and um, sometimes that confusion can lead to weird emotions that I can't comprehend. I think um, I don't think has anything to do with like actual art but like my everyday life there's basically art in anything so the way I view the world is very different every day without art I feel like we would be less connected to um like because art people use art to like express themselves and, like a lot of the art it um so like like indigenous like like a lot of indigenous pieces were not like a lot of like the people in the school we're not really connected to those things and when we see those it helps us like um connect more to in the past uh like who lived on this land first and yeah it, it just helps us connect more to our environment and things like that be with you. I don't, i've never heard of art psychology but if i had to guess i think it would be like the ink blood stuff just stuff about like what the combination between art and psychology i guess right so ink blots i guess it could also be how like psychology um affects the way people interpret certain pieces of art because i feel like art's a very abstract um area of study right i think there's a lot of interpretations that you can draw from one piece of art and so art psychology probably deals with how different people who are affected by like different things uh, perceive art. I really think of myself as like a very artistic person given that like I have very little creativity but I'd say like art affects my life in a sense that um, art is very
very intertwined with culture. I feel like a lot of cultural things that are passed down are very art based. Like, uh, we have a lot of traditional Chinese drawings in our house. Um, so I'd say that like, and my mom used to use those to teach me about our culture. So I'd say that like a big part of Chinese culture, uh, that was passed down to me was passed down in like the form of art in the form of folk tales, things that are like relating to interpretations that can be drawn from them. So I'd say culture is a big part of it. Um, I think art has also helped me kind of broaden my horizons a little bit since before I started doing debate, I was a very, I was a very like STEM focused person. And now I'm like much more focused on my English courses. I enjoy those a lot more. So I would say that like art really um, broadened my perspectives on a lot of different things regarding education. And I think, I mean, understanding uh, like the purpose of art and it's, in the sense that like you can interpret it different ways has also just helped me be a lot more like open-minded towards social justice issues as well so i think those are the three main factors a lot of the time when we're experiencing or creating art it's because it speaks to us because something greater within ourselves has provoked us to be able to express ourselves in a way that doesn't involve actual speaking now when i look at my own art i can instantly tell what i painted about or what I wrote about or what my songs are about because well I made them of course I'm gonna know but it's not the way like the way that I made my art is just a bunch of feelings and emotions that I feel and I just kind of start slapping that paint on the canvas but I wanted to understand if people could get the stories that I'm telling through my art and if the feelings, emotions, and intent I'm putting into my art is being portrayed to the viewer. And a lot of people didn't think about it, and a lot of people didn't understand what the concept was. It's not really talked about with society, um, which I feel like it should be, because we have art in everything. And I feel like art as a concept is very pushed off from society without them realizing that it's the biggest factor in our society itself. It's very hard to understand on its own and when you're bringing psychology into it you're actually being able to understand yourself better but also the art better some of my viewers think of art psychology as a concept of utilizing art to facilitate self-exploration um, by allowing the mind to creatively process subconscious and underlying emotions that perhaps our conscious mind overlooks art psychology to another is understanding how art is perceived in our brains to another, it's an exploration of how art intersects with our minds and emotions. It's about our understanding of deeper layers and meaning behind artistic expressions and how they impact thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. How art connects with the brain. Basically how humans interpret art in different ways and also apply it to their daily lives. Combines the creative psychotherapy to understand and have self-exploration. So now that I kind of got where other people thought what art psychology is, and for the most part, they were pretty good. I think the ones that spoke out to me the most because those ones were the best educated guesses I've ever seen. Just by knowing what psychology is and art is, it's very easy to be able to mash the two understandings and put them together to kind of know what art psychology is. So after the interviews, I went back to the Google Forms and I added more things. And one thing that I added was, what form of art affects you the most? Because to understand how art psychology affects you, you have to understand what form of art you're experiencing or partaking in the most. A lot of people said music, paintings, poetry, and I find that that's the most common forms of art in society. And then I got my viewers to kind of explain why that art affected them the most. Now let me read a few responses that I got that I really liked and really stood out to me. Music is the one thing I interact and feel the most. I don't pay attention and seek out things like painting and drawings. Most of the time I just run around at the art gallery without looking anyway. Music on the other hand actually can affect my emotional and mental state. For example, if I want to be more focused while studying, I can turn on my playlist and do my work without distractions. If I'm feeling sad or down, music can help me with these emotions. 
Oftentimes when I'm experiencing difficult emotions and distressful experiences, there are times when my anxiety prevents my mind to process how I am feeling and express in a healthy manner. Reading poetry, specifically relatable poetry, and listening to the music I feel that voices the feelings that I am exhibiting helps me understand myself better. Art psychology has a significant value in effectively guiding myself to articulate my feelings. And going off this response, I feel I feel as if many people don't understand that a lot of the time when we're experiencing art, um, we're actually helping ourselves in a way. Because if you're listening to sad music while you're sad, you're just going to get all your sad emotions out. And then if you turn on happy songs right after, your mood is going to boost up insanely. Um, this is from another who's truly affected by literature. I believe literature has affected me deeply throughout my life because it's been a constant in my life. I have always found peace and knowledge in various books and I have carried these ideas with me in my life. There is such variety of literature in the world and is able to connect all humans from centuries ago till today, no matter their history and background. And that's another thing with art. When we're experiencing art, we can be experienced that's another thing with art when we're experiencing art we can be experiencing art from decades and centuries ago and when we're experiencing it a lot of the time we're not realizing that we're like oh this is relevant today we're making connections with the art our brain is automatically making connections with the art and i find that so fascinating and another thing is we're also thinking about what provoked the artist or the author to create this piece Many people also mentioned how it helped them see the world through different lenses and different ways. It gave them a bigger perspective on what the world can look like for another person. It also can act like therapy for some people, which is a small part of what art psychology is. After asking a few of those questions, I wanted to see if people have actually thought about why art affects them so much or ever got into the topic of art psychology, and a lot of people said no. Most people had wondered why, but no one really got into the topic or questioned it. There was one response that really stood out to me, and they said that when they're creating art, they're very in tune with their thoughts and critically and creatively during the process. When they're losing themselves, um, they allow themselves to go back to art, to consume them, and it's also as a means of escapism. They see the positive effects of art as it makes them focus to take different angles of a certain thing, so different points of view. Um, another said that they never really thought about how it affected them because just like a regular day, it doesn't leave a big impact on them. For example, it's their birthday and it would be very fun and exciting, but as the moment passes, so does the feeling. Like art, I think it passes eventually, it doesn't leave a big impact. That's why art is seen everywhere, but we don't even know. And I think this person is right, because art is seen everywhere, but we never know. Like, we are never thinking about, oh, that building was so cool, I wonder what it means. And for the last question, I wanted to ask them what my art means to them. Now, what my art means to myself is kind of a lot of emotions and feelings mixed up and thrown on a canvas. That's what my art is. And I can never explain these emotions or feelings to anyone. And even trying to felt really nerve wracking to me because that's that's too much information. We don't need to go there. However, um, for this question, I needed to allow myself to kind of break down that wall I built that my art was keeping safe because I wanted to understand how people saw my art and how it affected them and to do that I also do need to say how what art, my art meant to me. So the piece that I'm showing you as I'm doing this is a piece that I did about mixed emotions and kind of puddles and this was actually a piece that I upcycled. They were painted brown, very muted colors and one had a butterfly and one had like a puddle of like melting faces on it. And I wanted to keep that in when I was upcycle upcycling these canvases, but it had a meaning that I 
wanted to kind of just put out on a canvas for a while and this meeting was a little bit about like my personal struggles a little bit um it's about um emotions and how you're kind of like struggling and you just like feel like you're melting and you, you can't really build yourself back up but you're not showing that to the outside world and I kept the butterflies in from the last painting because butterflies to me symbolize change. I think with that being said with that this painting um, is that we're always changing and the way that we're feeling on the inside is not always the way we're feeling on the outside. The melting faces have three different emotions but one one of the paintings are more um pink and the other one's more yellow just to show like differences of paintings but also because i think when i think of pink especially that shade of pink i think of like, sadder emotions and when i think of yellow i think of really happy and with the paintings there's a very um natural aspect to it where the background is very murky where one is brighter and you can kind of see like the moods shifting between the paintings as well um and when you're looking at the paintings um you can really emphasize that there's like a melting vibe to it yeah let's now just get into like what this painting meant to others now a lot of people got spot on with the response i feel like the way they articulated it was very very accurate um because when i paint i don't articulate i never have a thought like i never really think about if someone were to come up to me and ask like hey what is this painting i'd just be like oh <coughs> i don't know i think that with that being said with other people's responses i was able to understand my own art a little bit better a lot of people said that this painting represents emotions and on the first on the first i felt it was happy with the bright colors and the pink and the yellow then looking at it it felt more one-sided more was yellow than and the other was brighter after noticing that the right is more murky the line between the two feels like it shows where the differences begin and one side has less and less detail as the blobs feel like they need to be present as they can just merge into nature while the right is there fully looking at you. I see faces of different facial expressions indicating various experiences that a person goes through during different times and situations in their life. The color yellow reminds me of happiness and brighter days so perhaps there is an underlined meaning that through all the differences of experiences of our minds lead us through there is a light at the end of the tunnel and we all allow ourselves to feel seems like puddles reflecting emotions one sees inside like the left being exhausted and then the right being sad teary and eyed remorseful while the last one is suspicious or irritated this painting means multiple emotions one has but i see it as a person who has multiple faces who will put on an act towards you it's very abstract. I like the way the butterflies are lighter than the things around the faces. It makes the painting seem more cheerful. Abstract art. Or with faces. Happy, calm, relaxed. That's kind of what where I got with this. Now, I never really understood what my art could mean to someone and I never really thought about it because for me, my art was an escapism. It was a way for me to allow myself to express how I feel with no judgment because no one else was judging me, only I was going to see my art. But as I grew up, I kind of wanted people to see my art. I kind of wanted them to experience the same emotions that I felt with looking at a piece. And my art has been the one thing that I hold with my whole heart and pride. Like, I love my art. I love everything that I have. I love everything that I created with it. And my art tells a lot of stories stories that i probably would never tell to anyone with that being said art speaks to everyone whether you like it or not and i think that i never wanted my art to speak to anyone but with doing this project i was able to understand that my art doesn't only affect me just because my art in, is an escape route for me to go when i'm feeling something negative or positive can also mean my art is an escape route for other people too and when I realized this 
it kind of changed my perspective on art psychology as a whole um, because I can spend days on it just getting lost in the thought and painting and kind of just painting until I don't really think of that situation anymore and other people are looking at my art they're also thinking about how I made it because a lot of people um, in my responses were like why did you make this why did you do that why why is this there why is that there and at first I was like do I really want to explain but then I was like I should because these responses have their heart and soul poured out explaining to them what they feel how it's connecting to their emotions and how it affected them it really made me realize that my art is a lot more than just an escapism for me it also made me realize that art as a whole is a greater concept than we can understand because being able to understand art would be very tricky and if we spend our whole lives trying to understand something that wouldn't be able to understand us is very difficult in itself. It's a little bit of what I learned with art psychology, 